Hello everyone and welcome in this new video. Today we will do a deep dive into the Juniper SRX firewall to understand phase 1 proposal problem with the IPsec protocol. Make sure you stay focused during those 3 minutes because they will be intense. We are using the following scenario where the admin responsible of the SRX cannot bring up his side-to-side -side VPN with another firewall. And unfortunately, we don't have any access or contact with the remote side. The only thing we know at the moment is that both firewalls are trying to initiate a tunnel with each other with no luck. So, let's get into the SRX console and investigate the status of this VPN. If we inspect the Ike configuration, we can see the phase 1 has been set up correctly, with a policy and a gateway. However, if we check the status of the phase 1 for this VPN, it is empty. So maybe our Ike packet times out and never reached the remote firewall. Or maybe we have an Ike negotiation problem. Let's try to debug Ike using the trace option to see what's going on. First, I'm setting the file where I want to save the debug output. And the name of my file is debugike.log. Next, I do also set up the Ike flag because I'm only interested in the Ike event so far. And we can now commit the configuration. Now that my debug is running, let's monitor this file output and see if we can extract some information. It should not take too long. Okay, right here. So, it is not super easy to spot. However, after a while, you get used to dig in those debug output. And we can see a very interesting message at the end of it. No proposal chosen. So it's a good first step. However, the debug does not give us anything regarding what proposal should be used instead. For this, we will use a different command to capture the Ike packets and see what proposal is being negotiated. I have now cleared my screen and I'm about to run a packet capture on my public interface, gig o slash o slash o, with the monitor traffic command. I'm using a filter targeting the Ike port, which is 500, and the extensive knob to see the payload of the Ike packet. Let's do this. Okay, so I can confirm what I'm seeing is an Ike packet and also that it is an incoming packet. So far, so good. Now, here is the tricky part. If you look closely, you will see the proposal from the remote peer, but it comes in a very unfriendly way. And you're basically going to have to translate with the table I'm giving you here. So let's get started with the encryption. We see an encryption value of 7 and key length of 100, which means we should use AES 256 CBC. Next, the DFLMAN group with a value of 18, which means we should use the group 24. Next, the hash method with a value of 5, which means we should use SHA-384. And finally, the lifetime. This one is easier. You need to convert the value from hexadecimal to decimal. So C3500 gives you 50,000 seconds. OK, we now have everything we need to fix this phase 1. So let's give it a try. I have again cleared my screen, and I will use the parameters below to craft my own custom proposal. Encryption first then the defilement group, then the hash. I'm also specifying that we are using a pressure key. And finally, the lifetime. I am now going to detach the old proposal and attach the new one. And we can now commit the configuration. Let's now have a look to the phase one status. And it is up, fantastic. As I said earlier, that was not an easy one, but I'm sure you guys learn a lot in the process. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.